You have to put yeah. go live. I did. Oh, so he's live. We're not. Yeah. You are live. Now we're live. <laughs> well, there's a. It's been live for 20 seconds, so there's a delay, obviously. Obviously. All right, put up the thing that says for people to wait. Number one. Stop telling me what to do. Well, I'll tell you what to do. You got one from Jan. Is that a comment? Yeah. Move up. Yeah, um, that's an old comment. Hey, everybody, we're having technical difficulties right now, but you all have to join anyway, and um, we're going to let some people comments. pop on. So just hang out. Hang out. Um, you can Roger stare at my flowers for a I don't see that. I'm going to go look and see what they got going on. Hang on. I don't leave. can't see any comments. So you just watch sure. comments, I guess. Julius Why does it say paused? Well, unpause it. No, that's. I don't even see anybody watching. I can't even see you watching. Well, Joe's. Oh, there's a few people. Okay, how come I am not seeing the comments? I'm not seeing comments. We'll go to comments. I'm on comments. That's what this is. What are you watching on? Facebook. You are a kid. Alright, we're having problems. We are having problems, you guys. People are commenting, but we're not seeing any of the comments. You have Hi, everybody. I appreciate you watching and commenting, but we cannot see anything. What's with that welcome? Please hang on. Cool. That's just what we have up on the screen right now. Going for a post. So, I don't know what to do. No, I lost you. Joe can see the comments. Okay. Well, tell everyone I said hello. <laughs> <laughs> um well good i guess joe can see the comments so um if there's anything fun being said i can't read them i don't want to put too many i don't really need to see the comments if you can see them darn it well this is gonna suck <laughs> oh wait i see robbie i wonder if they're just really delayed hi robbie People are commenting. Um, you guys need to mute. I am. You're not. You need to mute. Well, I'm saying. Yeah. Oh my gosh! All day we've had nothing but technical difficulties, and this is not what I was hoping to ha happen. Devil says you both look good. <laughs> That's a lie, Deb. Hi, so Robbie. Can, can you can you read the comments inside? I can read them if I go to Facebook on my phone and read them. Hmm. What else do we do? You need to see them. You know or? what? Everybody, give us a few minutes. I think we're just going to do an old, um, potentially an old school Facebook live. So. Um, because I don't, I can't read anything. You can't read anything, and this is not. Um, or we're going to end and try and come back. Or should we just go on Facebook and just do a? Well, live? everybody else can see it. It's working fine for everyone. We can read the comments. So I mean, I can even read the comments. Oh, hi, everybody. All right. Well, then you know what? I'm not going to be able to read anything. Which means if you guys are giving me a hard time, it's not going to be good. I won't be able to know, but that's okay. We're just gonna go. We'll go with it. We're gonna go with it. You guys seem to have. <laughs> Maybe that's fine. I was gonna see. No one can see me, right? <laughs> I know you guys can see me. All right. Well, then forget it. We're just gonna go for it. Um, we have 
70 items, I think, tonight. Great shirt, Great shirt. Oh, Randy. Um, what about my shirt, Mark? <laughs> um, we have like 70 items. I can't read anything, which, which is not fun for me because I want to be able to talk to you guys and be harassed, but oh well. Um, if any of the art girls are watching tonight, this is not normally how it goes, and you just got to wing it when it doesn't go right. So, um, hey, everyone. I'm Lisa Lee, and I am of Tin Cat Studio, and inside is... Randy Lee. You're supposed to be, you're supposed to be going through the things, Randy. Oh. the things. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. That's that's Lisa. Lisa Lee! <laughs> and I'm the Randy. Yes, the <laughs> Randy shirt. with us tonight is... Switch it! Not the Randy. <laughs> Randy, switch it! Vanessa. I'm Abigail. I'm Randy's daughter. Um, and I saw somebody commented that they like my dad's shirt. Yes. Um, I made that for him. Um, and if you can see Vinyl Lee Creations, that's my Instagram handle right there. You can come go follow me on Instagram. I'm wearing my logo shirt tonight. So look for this logo. And Lisa is coming back. Lisa's coming. Yep, coming back. And she's actually, because she, um, Abby made this shirt as well. Mm -hmm. Wait, I have to figure out which way to go. <laughs> this way. <laughs> How's that, everyone? <laughs> um, so she's going to talk a little bit later, too, because you'll be able to maybe purchase some of these. And we're actually also going to do a T-shirt giveaway that she made us some T-shirts. Yeah. Um, that's a tin, tin cat studio, which, you know, that's our business and stuff. And we have a medium. So this medium is a forest green, Heather. It's kind of hard to see. It looks kind of gray. Yeah, it is green. So we have a medium and then a, what would you say? Like a Heather Navy? Heather or? Navy large. A large. Oh, the mosquitoes are going to be fun tonight too. And then we have an extra large. And we are going to give these away. Um, and that is gray. In case you were wondering, <laughs> um, they are men's sizing, but ladies, if you know your men's size, you can try and snag one too. I am wearing a men's large. This is a large. So stay tuned. We're going to, um, I still don't even know how we're going to do it, but I'll figure something out on the fly. <laughs> Let's see what else. Um, all right. So to purchase, if you are going to comment sold and then the item number, each item will have a specific number to it. And you should also see it on the screen. As long as this continues to work, I'm going to be smacking mosquitoes all night. This is amazing. Uh, this is going to go down as my least favorite live. We're probably going to have done. <laughs> it's okay. Stay fast. It's good. Stay fast. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so you're going to comment sold in the item number. And then at the end of the night, when you're done, you're going to be go to Facebook at Tin Cat Studio and you're going to hit the message button and you're going to message us your email address. That way I can send you an invoice for payment and you can decide if you're going to come pick it up here at our house, which is um, outside of Balsam Lake, or you can pick it up in Art Z Gallery in Amory, Wisconsin, or we can ship it to you. Now, we're not going to ship everything because, uh, you know, some of it's kind of expensive to ship. But mm -hmm. if you want to pay for it, heck, we'll ship it to you. Otherwise, most of the art is going to ship free. So that is, um, I'll kind of I'll kind of tell you. And then before we start, here's my other official. Um, we are Tin Cat Studio. You can see our logo. You can see it. We are on Facebook. We are on Instagram. We are on YouTube. And we have an Etsy store all at Tin Cat Studio. And we also have a website, tincatstudio.com. So make sure you check it out. We have way more art. Um, also, as far as the art is concerned, okay, just wait, got it. Um, we are in several galleries. Um, Your Arts Desire, currently in Minnetonka, Minnesota. Art Z Gallery in Amory, Wisconsin. 110 Gallery in Frederick, Wisconsin. Arts and Hand Gallery in Spooner, Wisconsin, and starting next week on the 14th in Plymouth, Wisconsin at the Plymouth Art Center. We are part of an encaustic exhibit. It has a really long name and I forgot it, but it's um, 
something and yeah, never mind. <laughs> and and uh, at the Polk County have, Visitor Center. Oh, we're at the, the Polk County Information Center. That's right, in St. Croix Falls. So if you want to see our work, you can look at those places. Unfortunately, um, wow, now it says nobody's watching. Is that true? Or should I just keep going? We got 22 people. All right, right never mind. I got nothing here. <laughs> Um, we were supposed to be at um, Uptown this weekend, but as um, most of you already know, that has unfortunately canceled, as well as Green Bay at the end of the month. However, Lakeville in Minnesota, which I think is the third weekend in September, says there's still a go. So we'll see. I know the governor pulled the plug on Uptown, so we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. It might. We might have a, a show. I'm not sure. It is what it is. So we'll uh, just do these if we don't. Okay. We, I think, are going to start. Is anyone harassing Robbie me? Robbie said get some mosquito spray. I know. I might. I might. Um, when they show the pond, I think I'm going to go spray myself because this is freaking ridiculous. Hi, Julie. I literally have seen two comments. Robbie and Julie. Hello. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go find some mosquito spray while Randy shows us number one this is not vintage <laughs> this is not art we just pulled our old plastic pond out of the yard so i have a plastic pond um a very durable plastic pond liner so if you're local and you want a pond number one is ten dollars <laughs> i am getting the scale spray hang on Oh, let's hope that hurts. So, um, hey, Mark, I can see three comments. So that's what it looks like. It is about 20 inches deep at the deepest. It's about four and a half feet long, and it's two feet wide, and it's 10 bucks. If you're local, I'll even rinse it off for you. <laughs> <clears throat> it's yours, number one. Okay, you can put that off, Randy. I hope you're not talking to me because I can't hear you. Do you want to click that pond off? How, how do I get it off? <laughs> just click on it. Yep, just click. There you go. Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't even get to know if anything's sold, which is really a bummer. So I hope you guys That's buy sold. some stuff. Yay. Robbie. Oh, Robbie bought the pond. Sweet, Robbie. I'll even wash it off for you, Robbie. All right. Now we're going to come into some art. We're going to do three, th three sets of three packs of cards for $12 each. So here we go. So these, this is number one and I have it called number two. <laughs> I have it called flowers because guess what? It's flowers and they're, these are $12. Um, these are actually poppies that were blooming um, when we went out to go see Randy's son in Arizona outside of, uh, where did he live? Went down to I went down. Yeah. Where did he <laughs> live? Where, did, where was he? Tucson. 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 Um, and then we have some forget me not. So that is number two. Swat and sell. That's what I'm doing, Galen. Look, at I can see four comments now. <laughs> I don't even see that one. This is, <laughs> this is weird. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah. Okay. So now we have barns. We have number three. We have a winter barn. This is the Taylor's Falls, the original, um, Franconia sculpture park before they moved. And then we have what we call dog days. So that is number three. Am I saying it right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know where you're. Oh. I don't know. Number four, we have, I'm calling it green because guess what? They're all very green. One of my favorite flowers, first ones in the spring, the blood root. We have a clematis. This is that is number five. Yep. <laughs> and then we have a lovely fern. I know um, they're springy, but I know what's coming next, which I love fall. It's one of my favorite, my favorite times of the year. But after that, it's no more green. So that was number four. These are $12 each. All right, thank you, Abby. You're doing such a good job. Oh, I know mosquitoes are horrible. They're horrible. Okay. 
so we are going to do a piece of art next. And this is Dream of, Dreaming of Summer. Um, all of the art that I'm going to show you is on our website, except for a couple pieces. And I'll let you know which ones they aren't on yet. Um, and these for tonight only, well, actually we'll do 24 hours. The pricing will be good for 24 hours, um, is a little bit less than what's on the internets on our website. So this is Dreaming of Summer. It's 13 inches by eight and a half. And it is an encaustic photograph and it is mounted onto an old toolbox insert. So it's kind of cool because we have green here and then the sides are red, which all, that your phone just leaked <laughs> to its death. Um, Too many people commenting. And encaustic is actually a beeswax and a resin. It does protect the photograph as well as it adds a little bit of interest and it does not melt until it hits about 130 degrees. So most of your houses don't get that hot, I hope. Um, and this one tonight is $110. And that is, we take all of our own photographs and we build all of these frames for anybody new that's watching, since I don't know who's watching. So I, I just, I'm just gonna explain it all and you guys have to listen to me. So this is number, Five, $110 for the next 24 hours. You can always message us if you're watching the replay. I like how Randy really had to beef this up to make sure it wasn't gonna be all funky when it went on your wall. Um, if you're watching the replay, because you know, you know you're watching it because it's not Friday night around seven o'clock, um, message me if you're not sure if something's sold. Number six. It doesn't have a number, but I'm taking- You are so smart. <laughs> We just have this um, Chevrolet, it, um, it you know, came off of a truck, I guess, or a car, I don't know, and it's $5, it's number six, and it says Chevrolet. I have no idea how old it is, I don't know how vintage it is, but um, I'm gonna guess, you know, it's older. So five bucks for that bad boy. Oh, hi, Ruth! I love you too. All right. Okay, these mosquitoes, if I start to levitate, it's it's not because I'm that awesome, it's because of the mosquitoes. All right, number seven. Has anyone else had a lot of problem with mosquitoes this year or is it just me? Maybe it was that darn pond. <laughs> number seven is the coolest teal vintage hose, hose hangy thingy. Um, and I looked these bad boys up. Now we do sell on Etsy. And so we do a lot of pricing. Our prices are generally a little bit on the lower end um, just because we don't want to hang on to stuff because we don't have a shop. We have to store it in our house. Um, and these were selling for quite a bit, but we're going to ask for $12 tonight. Look at that amazing color. And actually, I'll just think about this. If you wanted to, <laughs> look at <laughs> What a pair. It's a set. It's a set. Look, oh my God, it's almost exactly the same color. You guys, you should hang your hose right next to your art. <laughs> or something cooler, like what would you put on there? A belt? Uh, belt? Christmas wreath. <laughs> Scarves? I don't know. A wreath? It could put a wreath on there. Actually, you could. Hose uh, hanger or a wreath hanger? $12. Number eight, I can't bring over to you. Oh, what do we have? That wooden shelf. Oh, yeah, okay, so. I forgot to take a picture of it. <laughs> Actually, upload it for Randy. But behind me is this wooden shelf. I'll bring you the top. <laughs> I'm okay. And it says, um, what does it say? I can't. Windowsill or gardens. I have had this thing forever. So it's vintage in just the fact that I'm old and I've had it forever. Um, it's $18. It has one, two, three, four shelves, five shelves, and oh. each piece of wood actually comes off, so you can adjust them any way that you want. Does it have like, you can put them on any of the Yep, any of the shelf. And then, because I'm awesome, you get this one extra one. <laughs> okay, maybe I actually. It might have lost one somehow in the last 20 years. Um, but you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop that in there so you can maybe find um maybe you want a tiny little shelf 
Maybe you want to take the one that has more stains on it out. Yeah, sixteen dollars. Or if you don't like the herb thingy, um, you can paint your own sign on the back. Sixteen dollars? How much is it? Sixteen dollars. I lied. That was number eight for this wonderful, cool. And actually, the whole thing does come apart. It has little washer thingies. Okay, this is the next one. Do you want to show them that? And I'll just come. Sure. All right, another wooden show. Can we look at what color this is though? Let's talk about how awesome this um, avocado color is. Avocado, yep. Yeah, so if you're like me and the 70s just calls your name and, or the 60s and avocado green is where it's at for you for $7, you can have mm -hmm. this already awesome painted it called my name, you guys. It called my name. I heard it. And I ran and I grabbed it. And um, hopefully somebody else will love it as much as I did. So oh. that was number nine for seven dollars. Uh, oh, number eight. Number eight. Artist number seven. Number eight. I don't know. Things are selling. All right. Well, good. We don't want it. We're, that's not our job. Either. I know. Sorry. We don't care. That's sorry. Not our job. I thought you wanted to see comments. Um, so vintage, by the way, no, we don't, unless it's harassing me. I want to know who's harassing okay. me so I can get them. <laughs> um, so the vintage. So our main purpose in life, <laughs> I don't actually I have no clue what that is. <laughs> our main business is art. Um, normally during the summer, we would be traveling to art shows every weekend, selling our um, souls to hang on people's walls. The vintage is just something that has come along with it because we um, are addicts. Addicts, thank you. <laughs> I was trying to find a different word. Um, <laughs> we are addicts. Okay, so we, we make a lot of our things out of vintage materials. So we're always like at garage sales and auctions and we love, um, we love, galvanized wonderful things and i shove plants in everything so um I, we just happen to buy stuff and then we go oh my gosh where are we gonna put it all and, and then anyway we like to rescue things and then and then this has been kind of a way to do it again this summer and i'm talking too much so all right oh number 10 yes so number 10 it's gonna be hard to see but this is officially look at that lovely um it is officially a jeanette glass powder box okay it is a vintage otherwise known what i lovingly call it is my glass ass <laughs> so <laughs> if you need one um this was actually sitting at a little thrift store and I liked it because I, I like donkeys. And then when I, I'm like, oh, I should Google that. And I think I, I said um, glass ass, honestly. Um, <laughs> um, it turns out they're worth like um, around $30. But tonight, before we put it on our Etsy site, you can grab it for 20 and have a glass ass of your own. Isn't it fun? Um, and as far as I know, it's actually in really good shape. I don't see any um, flaws or anything. So as long as I don't drop it. All right, where are we at? Oh, I progression. Don't, I don't, yeah. I don't, I, don't, um, I don't know if I'm blind. No. I didn't do my homework. Brandy, where did that go? Oh, it's still in the house, that's why. We forgot to bring one out. We forgot to bring <laughs> one. Yay! No, it's not, no. Oh gosh, okay. This oh, is so another piece of art. This is another encaustic photograph. It is ah. called Progression. Um, you can see it's a tree and some birds and a nice field. And um, it's cut into the shape of Wisconsin. Oh, wow, everything's backwards. -y. It has metal on the back, reclaimed wood. And then it has an awesome hanger in the back. Um, it does measure about 20 inches square. And I think it's $240 on our website for tonight. We're going to let her go for $199. It does have some weight to it. <clears throat> so you will want either oh, oh, ugh, a screw, like a stud, or a wall. Oh, shoot. I don't remember what they're called. 
Mount Tanger thingy. You get them, you can get like a mirror kit or something. They're only a few bucks and that'll help um, keep it. You can go to our website as well. And we actually have a whole tutorial on how to hang heavier objects, as well as a tutorial of how to take care of and cost it. Our website is pretty awesome. I wonder who designed it, Abby. Oh, wait, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, is that the next one? Yep. Go ahead and show them that one while I put this one down. Okay, this is number 12. It's called Woodlands. It's yep. the only information I have. That, that's good information. It is 21 by eight inches. Also encaustic. I don't know if you can see. And it's actually a live edge. Um, so this was a plank <laughs> that Randy thought was kind of cool. And um, the back, but it's literally... <laughs> yeah. And he decided to make that into a frame. So it is a pine scene and it is about 21 inches by eight for, it's not on our website yet. Um, I for, apparently forgot to put it on there. Um, so tonight it'll be 135 and when we send it to you, oh, and by the way, a lot of this larger art, even the cards, the art ships for free, unless I tell you, art ships for free. So that includes shipping if you need it shipped. Um, and we'll even include eventually a hanger for the back as we notice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, here's the next one. The price. Oh, 135. I don't know. I don't know if I did or not. Okay. Oh, I'm not doing my job. What's your job? Giving oh, me things. <laughs> right here. Okay. So this is, I don't know which way to tip. This is lavender. And it is 15 inches square. Um, this is an older piece. There's actually, the encaustic still looks really good. Um, what did happen, and it's $50, um, what did happen is you can see a piece of the wood came out of the back. So it does have a flaw in the frame. Um, honestly, if we, I hadn't told you that, um, nobody has ever noticed. Wait, what am I doing? Here we go. Um, but I noticed, and <laughs> that bothers me. So, um, you know, you can just give it as a gift and they won't even know. And it's about $130, $140 piece of art tonight. $50. It can be yours. That is um, lavender flowers. You can really see the nice texture along the edges. I love texture and the encaustic. Um, and that lavender was up in Bayfield, Wisconsin. So that was number 13. Yep. Am I right? We got 14. All right, you want to hold one? I'll hold one. All right, so we have encaustic blocks now. Wait, how do we do this? <laughs> <laughs> Everything is backwards. Okay, how about that? <laughs> All right. 14 is on the bottom. So this is number 14, this and is it is a picture of swans. And this is number 15, and I, it's called Fading Pass, but it is just a truck. Um, it is an old Chevy truck i do believe and these are four yeah, by four so hard to do back i know isn't that weird um these are four inches square and then about one and a half inches i think and then it just has a little i can't like <laughs> and then it has a little nail hill um screw hole whatever and these are normally 30 we're gonna do 25 dollars each show yours again and um that includes shipping so yay. yay, I need a drink of water because I talk too much. All right, I so what do, we got, what do we got going on? Oh, we're on the next, on the next page. The mosquitoes that have, um, oh, like this is one of my favorite pieces. So every once in a while we make a piece and I'm like, that bad boy is gonna sell right away. And then it doesn't. And then sometimes at night I cry. And, um, cause I don't understand. I don't understand. It just makes me sad. And this is one of those pieces. And it was on the website. It was, we just brought it back from 110 Gallery today because um, we placed some new things up there. It is actually an old vintage drawer that Randy um, kind of refurbished a little bit, but he also then chalk painted it. 
And then set inside is a encaustic photograph with a lot of texture. You guys can wait, where's my finger? <laughs> you guys can really see the texture on it. Um, and it is $125. And it measures about nine inches wide by 13 high, and then it's about three inches deep. So you probably could even set it on a shelf. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe just a so. light, just a light wing, you think? I think it's a shelf sitter. So $125, you guys, somebody give it a home. It's so beautiful. Seriously, look at it. It's beautiful. All right, that's the one that makes me cry. Okay. All right, what are we doing now? Uh, number 17 is this karma. Oh, yes. Here, you can show it up be close. Okay, we got I, I don't know cars, but we got... It says it right on there. 1931 Model A Ford. 1937 Cord. Yeah, I, don't I, know. Think it's, I think that's what it is. I've never heard 1938 of 1938 Buick is the, is the green one. Yeah. They're, they're um, textured. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like yeah. embossed. And it is um, Japanese. And it is um, <clears throat> Otagiri. <laughs> um so on etsy i'm selling it for 12 i think um and you guys can check my etsy page and see if i'm t telling you lies um so tonight we're gonna do it for nine and if you have a car what is that one a cord i i have no idea what that is i've never heard of a cord, a cord? oh i don't know a 1932 cord um i don't know what's in there. um where are we at oh the milk can i can get those it says Oh, I was looking for nail key. Yeah, that's good. Right there. Oh. So that was number 17. The o Otagiri <laughs> Japan look. For the car lovers of your life. All right. Um, that is, okay, number 18 is a sweet um milk can now it is oh wait number 18 yeah how much is it randy oh 15 bucks so it's um got a few holes in the bottom so if you like to grow plants in it it's already pre holed um not bad pre -holed. it's not bad look i'm your father i'm done um i can't let me see if you can see the bottom there's just a couple little pin holy things. Um, otherwise, a few dents here and there. It's by no means perfect, but it's still. Oh my gosh, I just did I wreck art. No. Uh, it's still pretty <laughs> awesome. And it's about yay big. <laughs> so, about that big. That was number 18. Mm -hmm. Got some good girth to it. That thing's a little heavy for me. <laughs> All right, this is pokey. <clears throat> yeah. If anyone has a reason to want to get a tetanus shot, <laughs> <laughs> um, here is a, a, an old nail keg. Um, and it is number 19. It is not in bad shape, but also not in perfect shape. So we're going to call it medium shape <laughs> for $15. Um, you can see the knot fell out there of, of the hole. Knot <laughs> fell out. And, um, a few of them are a little bit warped. That's a car. <laughs> Robbie, I'm assuming I'm seeing these comments way, way late. <laughs> what did you see? That's a clean ass. Yeah, did I just fuck? That's been there a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading it now. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have to stop. I can't read these comments. Yeah, maybe it's good. so old. That's number 19, $15 for this sweet old nail cake. Ow! I have oh. my pants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next up is my shirt. Oh, are we so talking shirts? So you have to come back into the frame. Because okay, the shirt that... that you're wearing. Oh, okay. Or is the giveaway? No, these are for you to talk about okay. your shirts. Okay, wait. Okay, so <laughs> this is my Wisconsin Trees t-shirt that she's wearing. Yes. There's no so. Randy special tonight. Oh boy. Okay. 
What is that? Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. So it's Shape of Wisconsin. I'm trying to step in on my tippy toes so you can see it better. Shape of Wisconsin yeah. with some pine trees. It does not come with rust on it. Okay. I added that myself personally. Uh, yeah, it comes in military green as she's wearing uh, military green, army green. But yeah, it had, I have sizes small through large right now, and they're $16. You can comment in the comments mm -hmm. like you are for all the other things that you're buying, but um, you could also f message me or comment on my Instagram too. And I think Randy has her Instagram account on there right now. She is just starting this business. So if mm -hmm. you go on Instagram, there's only a few posts. And I will um, be adding more t-shirts soon. I just... I felt like this one was the most fitting for tonight. The yeah. rustic vibes. Yeah. So um, go give her a like and, and 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 pay attention. And you can buy. Are they the um, men's sizing as well? Um. So like the medium, small, yeah. medium, large. Yeah. So unisex men. Unisex men. Okay. Yeah. Unisex. That's a better way to say it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unisex. I don't have women's sizes, but unisex works for me. So. So these are sixteen dollars each. Um, the trees, and then um, what's that? That's what you. That's have right the now. only one I have right okay. now. That's the one I have listed right now. So I will be posting more soon. I is there a bus? In there? Yes, there, there is. I, There's a vintage Volkswagen inspired bus. Yeah, I haven't designed it. I haven't made one yet. So I'm looking forward to those. I'll be getting one of those as well. Yeah, maybe you'll see her wear that one too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Randy just informed me he did not prepare a Randy special. I don't know what that means. Um, which means we're <laughs> disappointed is what that means. Oh. So every sale he's had something that I feel is really dumb <laughs> that oh, nobody in the world yeah. would ever yeah. want. And he was How like, are you disappointed? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to see what it was. He said, I'll just grab something out of my shed. But apparently he forgot. So we will skip over that. And do a purchase recap and give away our first t-shirt um so if you're brand new to this every item has a number and you're going to comment sold with the item number with the exception of abby's t-shirts you'll just say you know medium large um we'll say small medium large. yeah small medium or large um tree shirt and we'll make sure we'll read the we'll read that all later um then you're going to, at the end of the day, you're going to message us at Tin Cat Studio and um, send us your email address. Wow. Okay. Now I'm back. I'm good. Um, and then you can either pick it up at our house or at Amory, or we can ship as well. Um, the art does ship for free. Other things, the vintage and like the t-shirts and stuff, there will be a small shipping charge and we can discuss that in the messaging. So let's give away a t-shirt. All right. Um, <laughs> you want to hold that up? So Abby has been making our t-shirts for us. And this is the unisex extra large. Okay. Can you see? <laughs> um, so this is the unisex extra large. Um, there is no easy way to give these away during a live. However, if you think your person would like you, that's yourself, um, an extra large. You're just gonna comment. What should we have them comment? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Unicorn. You, like, unicorns are fluffy. <laughs> if you want an extra large t-shirt, you're gonna comment, unicorns are fluffy, and you have 30 seconds of which to do, for, do so. Unicorns are fluffy. And don't worry if it's not perfect. And then at the end of the night, we're going to see all who said unicorns are fluffy. And we're going to pick a name. And then you're going to get this t-shirt. So, Randy, hit the 30-second thing. Yeah, this is 
that's old yeah okay i can't look at her phone yeah. because it's still like on 16. all right so don't worry we have a large and a medium that will be coming up and it'll have different something else to say True. i'm we have to literally them. pulling this okay right out of my glass <laughs> did anyone did anyone buy the glass ass um okay we now have a whole series. stick a plant in it series and don't worry you don't have to stick a plant in it it's just what i would do <laughs> So, number 21. Actually, Robbie, these, these might look familiar to you. <laughs> we only have the one. Um, this is a galvanized bin. It's $8. It has handles. It is already pre-pulled and a little <laughs> bit of rust. This would be awesome to stick some plants in. Um, Show all that. Yeah, look at show it to side. Look at how many plants you could stick in there for eight dollars. If you love rusty stuff, um, we don't have any sunflowers yet. Actually, somebody planted a field. Um, that could be the oldest comment, and I am now I, yeah. you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. But Jan, um, there's actually a sunflower field not too far away that um, we're hopefully going to get some pictures of. And actually, I know I have pictures from North Carolina from two years or three years ago that are still upstairs. But we do have some. We just have to find them. That was number what? 21. 21. So those bins, actually, Robbie, um, who is on here commenting, um, runs an auction house in Amory. And if you haven't um, checked it out, he's doing online sales right now. So those bins, Randy saw them. I thought they were cool. I was like, I must have them. So I bid a little bit more than um, <clears throat> we agreed upon. And then he forgot that I bought them all. And um, then there was a fight. <laughs> <laughs> but guess what? He found a use for them after all, except for that one. <laughs> um, you can. Oh, did you draw one already? Jan Goldfield. Oh, Jan! Jan, they drew your name for the extra large t-shirt. Yay, Jan! That's so awesome. That's wonderful. So okay. she's from the Green Bay. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm Jan, done with the story. There's like multiple Jan, so it's Jan Scoville. Jo Jan Sco Scoville. Yes. Jan Scoville from the Green Bay area. Um, you bought our awesome bright red barn, I think. Um can't think of what it's called, but Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right 22 number 22 is a chicken feeder um for 20 to stick a plant in oh, oh shoot yeah can you, you know, well do i it's kind of i'll i'll you hold this okay so i have a good example i'm gonna show you guys the one i stuck some plants in here i'm gonna just go sideways <laughs> so look at my fun succulent planter that I did with one. Look at the, you guys, wow, look at these. I've seen pink. Aren't they pretty? I can't think of her name. Hey, Craig, that could be from 20 minutes ago. I don't know. <laughs> um, perfect succulent planter. Number 22, chicken feeder for $20. Or to feed chickens. <laughs> or you could feed chickens. Um, and actually that has the top piece that I, um, I took off of my other one. All right. Chock full of nuts. Oh, what did I do with it? Wait, what? It was here. 20. What are we on? 23? Yeah. Oh, it's right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. You guys look at this. It's $10. Um, Randy, you have to switch the thingies. You're on the galvanized bin still. You are still on the galvanized bin. So number 23. Okay. You know what? I was. I just looked these bad boys up. Is this still? <laughs> They're selling for upwards of $20. But for tonight, it can be yours for $10. And look at the graphics on that. It's actually really still in a lot of um, good shape. And that would be so much. I would throw herbs in it. Of course, you have to stick a couple holes in it. Um, but I think that would be a really fun coffee pot to have herbs in so we're still on stick a plant in it yeah that was my question <laughs> yep so okay. now we have number 24 is this flower thing croc croc 
to potentially stick a plank in. Yes, because it doesn't have a lid. So um, I don't I don't know if you'd want to. Hang on one second. Um, there is a image on the bottom. Let me see. Actually, oh, it says oven proof. Yeah, yeah. And that's I see what it says. a, a US, there's a leaf and it does say USA. I know Randy had looked these up and I think he found one that was selling for $18. Um, 10 bucks tonight. You would want to drill some holes. Otherwise, just stick a different pot in there so you don't have to. Um, otherwise, it would just be fun kitchen decor too, but I'd totally throw a plant in that. Um, oil thingy. All right. This is titled oil thingy oil thingy. <laughs> $13. It's an oil thingy. <laughs> so um, the, the people probably could tell us, but since we can't read the comments, we'll, we'll never know. Um, but it says 51 M-I-N-N, -N, 51 men, um, approved type, whatever. So it's either, you know, for the, the car people in your life, or an elephant. Um, Thirteen dollars, number twenty-five. Um, actually, it's in pretty good shape, you guys. Except for the spout has a little rust on it. So pretty cool. That would be fun to have something flowy. Ship the pond. I am not shipping your pond, Robbie. I'm gonna hand deliver that bad boy. I'm gonna put goldfish in it for you. All right, number twenty-six. You can do that one. This is a refrigerator thing. This is a refrigerator drawer, apparently. <laughs> yep. That was. Eight bucks, I think. Yep, that's a small one. It does have a little rust in the bottom, but if you stick some plants in it, you're never going to know. And then it'll be, you won't feel as bad when you pop some holes in there. But that would be a fun. I love white galvanized. And here's a bigger one. For 12 Yep. Oh, it sucks. And this one actually does say crisper. And um, you will get the grass. That's a part of it. <laughs> and the dirt. <laughs> I wouldn't ship this though. Um, but you know, 12 bucks for number 27. Um, it does have a little odd end, but I would have this spacing out. And again, this would be kind of a fun, either succulent garden or like um, a bunch of herbs in it. I think that would be a lot of fun. Oh, what else we got, Abby? I really like your plants. Oh, yeah. The, the metal boiler. If it doesn't sell, I'm going to plant that. Number 28. Um, it is metal. It is not copper. Okay, just so you guys understand that. It does have the handles. It does have a few holes. Uh, the bottom's pretty sturdy, but there are a couple little rust holes in it. Um, that would make an amazing planter or you could put a plastic bag in it and ice and make it a beer cooler. <laughs> that would be a fun picnic accessory, wouldn't it? Um, for as much picnic time as we have left. Um, oh, I'm going to do the weird tins. Yeah. Yep, 30 is the soil X, the other really weird looking thing. Okay, so we have some miscellaneous tins, all of which you could put a plant in. So there's four of them, and you're going to get all four of them for $12. We have this kind of cool, just galvanized, it almost looks like somebody made, well, obviously somebody made it because everything has to be made. It's not like it just grew there. But um, anyway, somebody made it. <laughs> Um, galvanized cool box um, that would make a fun neat planter I wish you guys could see the stuff on my deck because I've got like an old orange ammo box I've got an orange like um, another thing and <laughs> all kinds of rusty old enameled pails and um, I love rusty stuff okay not enough about me um, this is a pipe mixture tin um, Randy tried to clean it and then started peeling the paint off of it. So we just figured, um, we'll just stick a plant in it. Um, you can take the top off. Then this is actually not original. It was a 1982. So it still is officially vintage. Wait, I don't know if it was 82. 
It says it is a reproduction of a 1900s container. Um, we can't get the top off, um, but it's a cremet macaroni. Wait, which way? This way, this way, this way. Um, container, it would look cool um, just sitting on a shelf. I think it's cool, but we like rust, we're weird. Um, or if you can get the top off of it, you know, shove a plant in it. So. And then this actually should have been the Randy special. You're also going to get this amazing map recipe box. Open that bad boy up and just think of a couple little, you could throw a couple succulents in there. Wouldn't that be fun? All four of those for only $12. Um, soil X. Yeah, you can show that bit. Okay, this is number 30. What is it? Soil. It's soil X. Um, I just think it's cool because it is. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna sell it for seven. If it was in better condition, it'd be worth a lot more. Um, the bottom does either need to get banged in, but how? I mean, who else is gonna have a planter like that? I just think the graphics are cool. Um, yeah, I I just think it's cool. Yeah, for seven bucks, stick a plant in it. All right, what else we got? Oh, we're we're on our last. Oh my gosh, there's so many multi purposes to this thing. Um, all right, so number thirty one is this blue enamel, like blue. I don't know. Would you say it's? Uh, yeah, it's kind of. What's the word metallic. I'm looking? Metallic. <laughs> That's know. the word I'm looking for. Like metallic. I'll be honest, I don't know if this is vintage, okay? So please do not let me know if, if, if it's not vintage. You. Don't come after me. I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna. The inside is a little bit rusty. It's got this chain. So we have either a planter, a bird bath, a, you, uh, a, a, a jellyfish, a spaceship, a hat, or if you put some holes in it, you could also, um, bird feeder you'd want the water to go through it though so how much do i have for that 10 oh. bucks that, that can be yours for 10 bucks and so end our stick a plant in that series thank you thank you <laughs> thank you for watching now we still have more <laughs> what are we on now uh medium shirt giveaway oh we're gonna give away another shirt oh it's my gosh the, okay you have to think of what they have to say this time you have, oh you have to decide we're gonna do medium? Yep. Oh wait, I was gonna medium grab one of yours. Is... <laughs> I mean, we could give that one away, but my dad wanted it, so. Uh, well, we could still give it away. <laughs> he wants this one too, but we're giving this away. Yeah. All right, so here we go. This is a medium. So unisex medium. <laughs> unisex. Um, it's army military green, Heather. Yeah. So what should they say? Um, what do you, oh, how about polar bears? No, I was no? going to say, okay, that. You got, no, oh, was you gonna say that. that. You got it, you got it, go. Um, you have to comment polar bears if you want the medium unisex t-shirt. Abby likes polar bears. Like a little, oh, I don't know. Oh. you know who gets that um eventually because abby still says we have 10 seconds left <laughs> holly says that she loves the spaceship hat yeah well you can be yours for 10 bucks <laughs> <laughs> um all right so i'm really excited to have people walking around with tin cat studio shirts on um we're actually it's amazing how many people, um, dang it, I wish I could have seen these comments earlier. Sorry, it's it's late now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's fun to go places and people are like, hey, I've heard of that. 
can I buy an extra large shirt and a tin can? Oh, we're going to have t-shirts eventually. Yes. Yeah. We're going to have to I'll, do that. I'll start working when I get home. We're going to do that. Oh. Um, okay. Let's go back to blocks because we're about halfway through. <sighs> All right. We've got some more encaustic blocks. Ooh. So again, these are $25 free shipping on art. This is a beautiful, let me get it closer. Uh, too close. It's, um, it's a beautiful little orange flower and we have that's 32 number three okay 32 is the flower you can show 30 these are oh, three oh, 30 is the barn another name kelly allen ah! <laughs> all right um all right 33 is the the barn wait right yeah yep. okay 34 is the windmill sorry all right, we're good. The windmill. The windmill. Round and round. And, and then, then 35. 35 is a crow flying. I think it's actually called Spirit. But I figured yep. you would all recognize it as a crow. Oh, backwards. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. so those are all four by four, $25 each. Normally sell for 30 eventually when we get to do shows again. Um, that was that one. All right, so now we have Serenity, which I feel like should be What's this, 36? Yes. This is it. All right, so we have um, a little bit more art coming up. All right, this is, Randy, switch it. Um, for those of you that are, don't know, we use an app called StreamYard, which allows um, us to have the words on there. It's pretty awesome when it works. Um, it, our internets today, we're having some issues, so it wasn't working so great today. Um, but it, it is a great app. This is, and it's, it's free, although I pay for the paid version, which um, allows you to do a few other things. Okay, sorry. This is seven and a half inches by 13 and a quarter inches. It is an encaustic photograph on a nice, sweet, old, rusty piece of metal. And tonight it is $90. I guess I could look at the screen. And this is actually was taken in Door County. Um, it was a fought when we were doing the Sturgeon Bay Art Fair. We got out there early one morning. Don't ask me how we got out there early because we're not morning people. Um, but there was fog on Lake Michigan and this tree was... Um, it looks like we're gonna have to do a couple more extra large Wisconsin t-shirts. Okay. Um, anyway, $90, number 36. It was a beautiful, beautiful morning. Yes, I can remember that. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Um, this is another one that I'm still not sure why we have it. Um, this is $160. It's called Into the Wild. Um, it has reclaimed white barn wood, I believe it's barn wood, um, and then metal edges, um, and then an encaustic photograph. You got it? You can yeah. show the back quickly. The sides. It is 20 and a quarter by 10 inches. Um, this is actually, Abby, if you want to bring the photo just a little bit closer, um, this is actually a composite um, abstract photo. So this is 13 different photographs that Randy has layered um, all together to achieve the, fi the final um, image here. So these birch trees were actually shot. Um, you can see the white streaks that come through called, um, oh, see, everything just leaves my head, um, intentional camera movement. Um, so you actually open the shutter of the camera and move it, and then you get these cool abstract streaks. And that's how that was done. The birds are another shot. The water, the sky, it's all layered together to make this um, very cool yes. image. So that's $160 into the wild. It's one of our best selling images, actually. Um, and that is one of my other favorite pieces. It looks beautiful on white wood. Card. All right. Oh, we have two brush pines in. Okay. So. These are little brush pines. Oh, are they cat? I'm gonna have you hold one and then oh, I'm gonna hold one. Two. Okay. Yeah, we literally have two of them. So number 38, wait, 
what are the numbers? 38 and 39. Okay, so number 38 and 39. Are they different? Are they the same? Um, they're a little different, but they're similar. Okay, let's see if we can go a little bit closer. Um, one, so I added pan pastels a little bit to both of them. So they are slightly different. Um, this one I think has, one of them has more brown on the bottom. I think it's the one you're holding. Uh, they look let's, just say to me. let's just say they're close enough that nobody else will matter. <laughs> we'll know. So they are, um, how big? 14 by four and a half. Okay. 14 inches by four and a half inches. Sorry. And they are $55 each. And we have number 38 and number 39. And these are not on our website right now. So if they don't go tonight, they will go on our website for, I think, six. I think they'll be 60 when we put them on the website. I don't know. Oh. All right. Number 40. Is... Oh, there it is. All right. Another piece of art. Well, this is another one that I like. And then we'll get back into some vintage. Vintage. All right. So this is called abiding. It's kind of hard to fit the frame. Yeah, I know. Um, so this um, is actually an image that we almost drove by it the other day. This is a concrete house that is outside of Weyerhaeuser, Wisconsin. And there's pan pastels, again, embedded into the wax. There's a lot of texture. Um, this is expanded metal, I think it's called, on the back. And then our corners and then some awesome reclaimed wood that is number 40. Um, it's $190. I think that's $10 off of what it is on the website. It's 23 and a quarter by 12 and a half inches. And actually, I, yeah, that must have been a grate of some sort because it's got some uh, like a frame or edge, edge border. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it must have been a piece of something that Randy found somewhere fun. Um, <laughs> and if he knows, maybe he can tell you. And that was number 40. Okay. So it's part of a furnace, an old okay, furnace. Part of an old furnace. There you go. All right. We are on I don't know where we are. 41. Number 41. The mushroom. The mushroom and then the chip amongst. All right, so the next thing was another thing Yay. that screamed my name. Actually, the next few items. Um, oh my. <laughs> All right. I, again, you know, can you tell I was born in the seventies and love the seventies? Um, look at this. It is Arnell's and there is the signature on the bottom. Um, and they seem to come in all kinds of different colors. And I would ask somebody who might know more to explain it, but I won't see your comments anyway, but maybe other people can, because I could not find another one of this exact color. Um, but it's going to be $22 tonight. Um, it's more on our Etsy page. And it has these three little fun mushrooms on the top with the mushroom little ribbing. But I just love the, the red and the yellow. I don't remember there being any flaws. Um, the only thing that I would question would be there are, oh, by the way, oh, never mind. <laughs> I, I, let me come back to it. There's little blue dots, but it's part of the actual glazing. So that was number 41 for $22, and we can ship that. Um, and by the way, the medium shirt went to my good friend, Kelly Allen. Yay! I'm so excited you got it, Kelly. All right. And then number 40. Wait, 40 I have 41, you have 42. Two. It's the Chippy Monk. This is so cute. <laughs> I want this, but I also don't need more things. <laughs> so it comes here. Yes, he's sitting on a little walnut, isn't he cute? Um, it's $15. Um, I will show you the couple flaws that I do know are there. I have to remove. I, I tried to cover it up with the number, you guys. <laughs> right in the front there, there is just a tiny little, I guess it might be a little chip. And then in the back, there's another one right there. Other than that, the little chipmunk is in good shape and it does, it is a 1982 Houston Foods 
um, container. So on our Etsy page, it's going for more, but tonight you can grab it for $15. By the way, chipmunks are one of my most favorite things in the world besides unicorns and Sasquatch and kittens um, and puppies and whatever else I think of. But that is number 42. And oh, I like this. This is so cool. All right, number 43. Seriously, I was like on this trifecta garage sale. Um, I had, they had all the best things. This is one garage sale? This, well, that oh. was a garage sale. That was thrift store. I thought you got all these at the same spot. Um, this, but I got a bunch of other things at this lady's garage oh. sale. Um, this I decided, I guess I better let go. <laughs> have no room for it but it is so jirushi um is the brand it's japanese i was gonna say i think it has japanese yep it's japanese it is a vacuum coffee oh, okay. canister um i think on the etsy i'm selling it for like 30 tonight it's gonna be 25 it works i tried it there's no obvious flaws um the inside looks great, so it's in good working condition. I, I saw this and I literally ran and, and kind of screamed. Um, and then I brought it home and then thought, seriously, where, what am I gonna do? You guys, we have a very small home. <laughs> it's very small. We have four dogs and six cats in it and three people. And um, it's, yeah. And all your art. <laughs> and art. <laughs> so $25, I'm, I don't, if it's rose or poppies, I'm not sure, but it's bold, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, just sitting on a shelf on its own. Seriously, I love this thing. That's fine. I'll let it go. Okay, that was 43. Shoot. <laughs> you got it. Number 44 um, is tea. the iced tea crock. And this too um, works. We I filled it with water. The little pumpy thing works. There is no markings on it. I'm gonna hold that if you want to show the bottom. The bottom. Oh. Yeah. No markings on the bottom. Um, it's gonna be thirty dollars. The only thing that it has marked is a one fourth on the top. Um, it has this cool wire and wooden handle um it is heavy so it would be a bit to ship um but we could do it but you're just just know that it's that would be um a little bit all right number 45 the price cut. 30 dollars. what do we have for number 45 45 oh the milk bottles okay um oh okay yeah okay so i have some milk bottle sets so the three of each, do you want all? Yeah, yeah, I don't think we need to. Okay. Because they're pretty much the same. All right. So, oh, noticeably warmer tomorrow. Ew. I really am liking this weather, you guys. Um, this is the one thing I realized um, we had two different things of, and I didn't make separate numbers, so I apologize. But I think we can all do this because we all, I hope, graduated from preschool when we had the... The, the toy where you had to put like round things or square things. And I hope we all did it because we have square and we have round milk bottles. <laughs> um, the square ones are $10 and there's actually three of them. So you're gonna get three of the square milk bottles. Um, they are all marked on the bottom the way that they should be. They've got the cool little top with the notches and you get three of the square ones for $10, okay? Um, the circle, the circle ones, the round ones each say one quart, they're embossed, one quart liquid. Um, and then each one on the bottom does have the Duraglass with the date and then the different numbers. And those are three of them for $12. Um, those would make actually quite lovely, um, plant flowers, um, vases. I, I still want to do that for myself. So the round ones are three of them for $12 and each one does have a different, um, year embossed on the bottom. I'm not showing them all. 
um, and no obvious flaws or breaks or anything on those. So moving on, you have the next one, which is a piece of art. Number 46 is along the North Shore. Um, this was taken on the North Shore. <laughs> um, it is 13 and a quarter by six inches. It is $75. It is not on our website yet. So you guys are gonna see it for the first time. Um, it is encaustic. It is a photograph. There's a reflection. I can't remember if I did any pan pastel on this one, but um, you can see the more detail of the trees kind of when you're up close. Um, so of any of you that, oh my dear Lord, <laughs> um, <laughs> mosquitoes are coming back, um, that enjoy the North Shore, that's a nice little piece there for $75. And then we're going to do three packs of cards. So three packs. We normally don't do three packs. We've only been doing them on live sales. Um, they're $5 each normally, our cards. They are also five by seven in dimension. So if you want to frame them, you can. So three of them for 12 is a nice deal. Um, and we actually, this three pack is all of Winter Barn. So all three of these are Winter Barn, um, one of our um, best-selling photos. This was taken outside of Eau Claire. Randy took it, oh, quite a few years ago um, when he was working delivery before I knew him. Um, and it was just one of those perfect snow mornings. And this is why you always have a camera with you. <laughs> okay, mosquitoes are coming back, you guys. Eh. All right, this is birds. Um, number 48, and we have an eagle. We have a crow and we have um, blackbirds escaping from a tree. It's actually called escape. And you get those three or the last one is windmills. And again, these are all of our photos for anybody that's new. We take and make all of these photos. Um, we make all of the frames. We find all the materials. We do it all. Windmills, we have this fun one. He edited it to be a little bit more colorful. Um, this is called Summer Breeze, and it's just in a beautiful field. I'm going to need a drink of water. And then we have this one with that says Aeromoto. Um, and that was number 49. $12. Number 50. You know what, Abby? Do you want to hold that? I'm going to grab a quick drink of water. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is fake sounds. I didn't see it. Sorry. Right <laughs> this is so pretty. So this is another one of my favorite. You guys, I actually put some of my favorite pieces on here tonight. And this one is um, a heavier piece. Yeah. Would you not say? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, this is a lot of metal. So um, the back is galvanized metal. The Then he inset, um, I, I wish I knew what kind of metal it was. I, I know it has a name, but it's a flat metal that he inset into the wood. Mm -hmm. And then he added all of the bolts and then he made the corners out of some galvanized metal as well. Um, the wood is reclaimed, although we did paint and he distressed that. And um, that is our image. This is another composite image. That was one of the super moons. This is um, trees actually right behind our house. And he just layered the two together to make this very fun, cool image. Now this is a frame, you guys, I mean, seriously. I don't want to say how awesome we are, but <laughs> <laughs> what a, an amazing frame this was. And this guy is, is heavy. Um, so you would want to look at our website and make sure that you prepare for a heavier piece of art if you don't have a um, proper stud for it. Um, okay. Uh, where did you get this? Was that right there? Yep. It, it was face down, but it was really tight. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to go over here, I think. We'll just go there and make sure I don't kick it because that'll hurt. What do we? Oh, we're on some salt and pepper shakers. Yay. All right. So, number five, uh, here's my avocado again, you guys. We have this Pyrex um, salt and pepper shakers. It does say Pyrex on there. I believe it's Crazy Daisy, is called the pattern. There are two of them, no flaws that I can see. They're on our Etsy page. You can grab them tonight for $15. Um, they've got these fun little stoppers. 
to get your salt and pepper in there. <laughs> um, so if you like the avocado, I do. I love it. So that's $15. And the next one is also $15. Those are fun. <laughs> His and her salt and pepper. Oh, no, sis. Which means only she can have the pepper and only he can have the salt. <laughs> I never thought of it that way. <laughs> Um, those are again, $15 and the bottom, oh, I forget oh. the name. Let me see one of the bottoms. I forget who made it. Um, they are Japanese. Oh, I forgot to write down who the maker is. Inesco. And what is it? Inesco? Is that what that, am I? Yeah, you might be reading am it reading correctly. Right? All right. Might be. Um, what if, if they don't sell tonight, they will go on our F store and um, I will have the name of the maker on there but those are the fun outhouses yeah. number 40 mm, 52 52 wow. a little, little off little off all right okay 53 I don't know what <laughs> probe means <laughs> where did it go oh oh here it is <laughs> sorry I don't know I was looking for like a pokey thing <laughs> The game of words. Probe. <laughs> I don't know why. I am such a child. <laughs> it just cracks me up. Um, but it is the game of words. 1964. It is a complete game. I have never heard of it. Um, it does say it's a provocative game of words. Since the invention of the alphabet. Um you may play two, three, or four. I, I seriously, I can't read without my glasses. But it's nine dollars tonight. Um, I think it's worth more like twelve than that. But number fifty-three for the game of probe. That's cool. Ah, yes, color, 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 color. So that was another thing that made me. Um, run and it wasn't so much that it's almond broca i've never heard of it i've never eaten it but look at that color mm -hmm. um what it, is what is it was almond. a candy oh, okay. um it was a candy and the color i just thought would be really neat in a, a kitchen oh. for that fun it does open yes, that one i would be able to open um Ooh, i just function. love the color i don't know like yeah. pink salmon pink it's an interesting know. pink it's, it's a different pink. And I was um, surprised to see that they are worth between $20 and $30. But tonight we'll go 18 for that fun vintage pop of color to throw in your kitchen. $18. <laughs> Here's my next one. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. Next up, for only $5, we have your Madonna starter kit. What was the, um, and yes, <clears throat> these can be yours. They are, <laughs> Come, what was, I can't think of the name of the video. I'm, um, I'm too young, so. Yeah, I know, Abby's looking at me like, what's wrong with you, lady? But you older people, you know what I'm talking about. Five bucks, a couple of rusty, um, Funnels. Funnels? Funnels. Mm -hmm. That's what they are. Funnels. Or Oil. it was worth it just for the joke. Five bucks. Madonna started your kit. And probably ruined my shirt. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking for. Uh, I don't even Five. know where we are. 56. Five. Oh, here we go. Behind me. Oh, we have a t-shirt giveaway. Oh, sorry. The last one. Uh, the large. Mm. Wait. Oh, right? Yep. Yeah, because we did the extra large, the medium. Wait, is did this we? The large? Wait, did we hold up the? Okay, never mind. Did we hold we're up good. the wrong color? Yeah, I was thinking we did, but I'm nah, I think we're good. Okay. Well, this is a large. This would be my size. Um, for the unisex size. And Randy, do you want to decide what they have to say to get the large? Randy, are you there? Have you died? Randy? Yeah, I'm here. Um, they have to say dolphin. Oh, oh, dolphin. All right. So if you want the large, you can go ahead and start commenting dolphin. You have 30 seconds. Go.
hang up. I don't in case there's a delay. <laughs> All right, so Omnian G1, Omnian, and on the whole. All right, we have three older pieces of framed art, and I mean old school frames. Um, they are traditional frames. Um, this was back when well, we did traditional framing. Actually, Randy used to do. So that's what he did. And we found them in our storage. <laughs> <laughs> and we have three of them, and they're going to be $10 a piece. Um, the frames, is it glass, Randy, or plexi? Do you know? I, I believe it's just regular glass. Okay, so it is regular glass. Um, the frames by no means are perfect. They do have a few nicks and knacks or whatever, but we have three of them. We have pines here. Pines. Um, it's called brush pines, actually. Some of you may actually own the piece in caustic. And then we have, oh, this one. 57 is Merge, which is actually the Tri Chippewa River. Pretty bad glare. <laughs> yeah, the glare is pretty bad, but it is um, the Chippewa River in um, winter. There's fog. It's beautiful. Um, and then number 58 is called Into the Woods. And again, there's glass. It's, okay. Um, this is glass, so you're going to see a little bit of reflection, but it is um, a picture of, of the woods. <laughs> and they, this one needs to be cleaned up. I'm not cleaning them. Like, that's the deal. You know, you have to get your own Windex out for 10 bucks, okay? Um, glass, you know, shippable, yes, but please understand that they're glass. So um, 10 bucks a piece on those. Number 50, oh, I'm staying right in front of that's why you did that. Okay, <laughs> number 59 is Melancholy. This is on our website. Um, this is, again, one of my favorite pieces. Um, it is... Whoa, wait, how do I go? Um, up close, you can see there's a barn and a wood mill. I did add a lot of um, pastel to this. Oh, and there's actually a lot of embedded pastels. It is wrapped around a board. Randy had, it's kind of a, well, you can see the back here. It's kind of a green. I'm going to have to. Um, Kind of a rusty green but it's um seven inches by 22 inches and tonight it's 140 dollars, and it will ship free and i also am happy to say that julie k you won the large t-shirt and julie has a few pieces of our art so i'm excited that it went to you i'm actually going to undo this while you show the next two items which are some white glass pens. They're the same. Okay. Yep. Okay, so what is it? 60 and 61. These little white hens. Uh, they're the same. They open up. They're kind of sitting on a nest, they call it. Yes, sitting on a nest. Is there any other information? Uh, Hazel? Hazel Atlas might be the um, maker. So ha Hazel oh Atlas might be the maker. Oh, it's getting so bright on oh, the screen. Oh, I forgot to do this. Uh, and they're nine dollars each. So these these two are separate, but they're nine dollars each. Sixty and sixty one. I feel so strong now. Though. Yes, those are little um, white gla milk glass hens on a nest. I think the the maker is Hazel Atlas. Um, I know we should have done that like an hour ago. I completely forgot to do that. So hi everybody. <laughs> but it kind of looked like it was gonna rain. So that was 1661. Oh, I forgot to put a, a price on number 62, which is this sweet Colorado. Oh, I did put a price. Okay, good. Um ashtray. <laughs> you can see the or incense holder. Mm-hmm. If that makes you more comfortable. Um, so check out this cool vintage Colorado. The back has cities. Yeah, different places. Um, there is the obvious flaw on the leg. Where did it go? Mm. See it? Chip. Oh, it's on there. Yeah, okay. So right here on the edge, 
but you don't see it when it's sitting. Yeah. There is a chip. Um, but it's that avocado green again, Colorado. Lisa? Yeah. Someone would like to see 46 and 38 again. You could do that. 46. <laughs> I don't know. That's how. <laughs> we'll have to um, look at our sheet because nothing is put. Or wait. 30. What, what numbers? 38? 46 and 38. Okay, 38 was a brushed pines. 46 is, All right. we will have to look. So this is the brushed pines. Um, there's, it's encaustic and it was um, 14 by four, four and a half inches and they're 55. Oh, okay, I see. Cause they're kind of similar. Oh, okay. Whoa. No, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, let's put them together. Okay, yeah, we'll put. We'll I see do why. Maybe Am like I upside this? down? I'm upside down. <laughs> Reflections are hard. Oh, and that one doesn't have a hanger yet. And this is number forty-six. Is that what we wanted? Forty-six, thirty-eight. Wow, our, our comment. Yep, yep. That's good. Ashley asked to see him again. She wanted thirty-eight, but I think maybe she's wanting to compare them. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome, honey. All right. Now, where were we? Okay, Madonna started. We are getting to the end here, you guys. Hen, hen, Colorado ashtray was 12. Whoa, matches. This holder. Okay. After we dumped matches everywhere. Oh, no, I say we, I mean Randy. <laughs> um, This is this sweet kind of, I don't know what color blue. It's not baby blue. What, Robin's? Egg? No. No? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's blue. It's blue, but it is a vintage match holder, and you put the box in there, and then let's see if I can do it without starting my hair on fire. Oh, oh, oh. Back up, <laughs> back up, and then you start your 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 fire. Um, and I was actually really surprised to see that most of these, and I have to say, my color was way better than any of the ones I found on the internet. And they were selling for 15 to 20 dollars and tonight we're going to say 10 dollars for this sweet blue match holder thing you don't get hey. the matches though i'm keeping them lisa, oh, okay. lisa. Hi. randy can you hear me yeah um julie would like to see serenity again the door county tree i don't know what yeah. the number is that's fine it's right here uh, we're going to do those red canisters next and Deb says that's Monet blue. Monet. <laughs> of course it is, Deb. <laughs> There's a backstory to that. Uh, here is the the one you wanted to see, Miss Julie. The Door County tree. And we can show anything again at the end if I did not hold it up long enough. I think we're just a few away from being all the way done. Red canisters. Okay. These are not vintage, as in, like, they've been made in the last 20 years. But I found them. <laughs> We've been purging. <laughs> and, um, oh, there's three of them. <laughs> My gosh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I would have had to have upped the price. <laughs> um, but it is this three piece canister set. I found them in one of my um, cabinets and went, oh, <laughs> what do you know? So there's one, two, and three of these red and white enameled canisters. And you know what? I didn't know there was three, but eight bucks. You can take it. Otherwise, it's going to the thrift store. And then what do we have after that? This. Oh, the weird tray of bottles. Okay. Tray of bottles. Literally a tray of bottles for $12. Um, it is a whole bunch of teeny tiny little apothecary type bottles. Um, that one does have a symbol. Randy brought it to me and he's like, what should we do with this? And I said, I don't know. Oh, this is a tiny little A1 sauce one. <laughs> Look at that. Um, I think, oh, this was improved vitamin B complex. 
Um, one of them, I believe, was oh, here's a a blue one, iodine. I oh, think. That has a yeah, I think maybe this was iodine or mercurochrome. Some of um, if you guys know, but it has the little thing. Do you remember the pain? Does anyone want to scream? <laughs> little. <laughs> little, look at that little one. Um, and then you can have the the little bread tin that it comes in for twelve dollars. All of them yours. I'm not dusting them. <laughs> okay, this. What comes after that? Art. Pinnacle. Pinnacle. All right. Oh, yes, the larger version of the orange flower. Okay, and that one's, does that one have some girth to it, too? Girth? Well, is it heavy? <laughs> um, this is that it orange is little heavy flower again. I wish I knew what it was. I think I took this in Arizona. Um, and it is $160. It's 11, okay. I got it, yep. It's 11 and three quarters three quarter inches um, wide by 19 inches. I wish you guys could see the photo better. It is on our website, um, the photo. It is an acoustic photograph. It is a lot of metal. It's on a piece of metal and then Randy built the frame and then has some nice middle corners. So tonight, I wanna say that's a good $20 knocked off. Um, $160 tonight. And we've got the photos next. It's starting to get dark, so <laughs> can't be doing this for outside much longer. Um, number 67 is a bunch of photographs. So it's $10 for all of them. I'm going to show you them quickly. If you like old photography, this, a lot of them, um, this one says La Crosse, Wisconsin, um, actually does have the names. Um, and whoever these were gifted to me um I, I won't go into the story but like this one they were selling for four dollars it's it's nothing bad like there's no hard feelings or anything but um this one was three dollars that one says ashland wisconsin independence wisconsin and they are written on the back november gosh that might say it says 95 would that be 1895 is that possible <sighs> I, I, don't know. Time, so I don't know, but um, all of them, I think there's like seven or eight of them and $10. This is another lacrosse for all of them. They're pretty cool. If you like that kind of a thing. All right. We only have three things. Left. All right. The thermos number 68 for so <laughs> $9. This I think is the eighties, maybe, I don't know, seventies, but it's the um, thermos brand yellow thermos yours for nine dollars it doesn't smell or um i did oh not i stuck my well nose done. in there for you guys and oh it does my. not stink um not and long. lisa yeah yeah robbie wants to know if there's any animals in the photos like any pets um, i didn't see any rab robbie No, just like personal portraits. Just people. Just people. Um, okay, we have two things left, and then we can re-show you guys anything you want to see. Um, the Packer mug. Oh, it's those canisters. I didn't get a thing on them. All right. And all right, so number 69 is this Packer. Um glass and it says wisconsin 1966 wisconsin jc state convention green bay wisconsin and then it has some sort of packers capture north wind title i can't read it <laughs> but it's like a little newspaper um clipping so if you have a packer fan in your life or happen somebody may be born in 66 or whatever five bucks it can be yours <laughs> robbery system. All right, last item. We have these Valerie Pillow folk art canisters. There is a large one, and then I believe this would be the small one. 
Originally, there's supposed to be three of them. Um, we only have the two. And these I saw and, and I told Randy, I said, you know what, grab those. I feel like they're kind of cool and something special. And the three um, of them so actually sold, because you can see, sold for $200. <laughs> But we only have two of them. Um, so I know right now, if you look on Etsy, the large one is um, for sale right now for $65. And we're going to do both of them for $50. Um, and when I list them on Etsy, I'll probably separate them and there'll be more. <laughs> but the these are these um, folk art. I think she was an artist for Hallmark. Oh, where's the signature? Oh, yeah, yeah. here's her signature. Um, it's, it's just this fun folk art inspired canisters. If you want to show the large one again, there is no flaws that I can see. Um, they're in really good shape. And uh, there's a little sticker residue I, I need to get off of there. But both of them for $50. And I think that was it. So now would be a good time to let me know if there's anything else I need to show or do, or this is when I say thank you. Um, if you purchase something and you know you're done, please message us on our Tin Cat Studio Facebook page. Um, hit message and give me what you bought and your email address. I'll be invoicing the next two days. And um, then we'll discuss if you want it shipped or not or, or all that good stuff. Please don't forget there might be Wisconsin tax for some of you. So, you know, you got to be nice to the tax man. Um, I, I want to say thank you to everyone that um, bought. I want to say thank you to Abby for helping me. She did a great job. But also to thank her for making all of these wonderful things for us. It's mm -hmm. so nice to um, have. Um, somebody now that's like in the family that we can have make this like her on Instagram, throw it back up there. I understand. Um, there was more than sold than she has, but <clears throat> I think she has a weekend project maybe mm -hmm. coming up. So feel free to yeah. keep ordering. I, maybe I shouldn't say <laughs> that, but do it. Anyway. Yeah. You can do it. It'll keep her out of trouble. <laughs> Um, and there'll be more designs coming. So if you follow my page, you'll see more, including that bus or yeah, the bus. Van, yeah, van. I've seen it. Um, Volkswagen style. She's also well, you know, I know she's made stickers for us um, and, and different things. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, this is the baby part of her business right now, you guys. So it'll be fun to watch her as she as she grows, and hopefully we can support her and give her some business. So yeah, yay. thank you to everyone who ordered already. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, if anyone wants to see something else, give a shout out. Otherwise, we're going to be done because the mosquitoes are horrid. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, she's got pants and a coat on. Um, and, and I wish I would have seen all your comments. I know you guys are funny and you make me happy. And um, we really appreciate everyone that has purchased that is um supporting us this has been a hell of a year to say the least um but you know what do the best you can and uh it is what it is, it is, what it is. yeah so all right randy you have to darn neighbors <laughs> yeah with your kid Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> all the way he's running at the perfect time of night um if anyone wants to see anything randy you have to let me know because you know comments aren't Love the smell of match. I do too. <laughs> All right, come in. I have my dad's eyes, I guess. I know. <laughs> Actually, if you saw her mom, um, mom, yeah, I like a her. lot of your mom's eyes. But I think out of all the kids, you look the most like your dad. Which and my siblings used to tell me I was adopted. <laughs> <laughs> I see more. I see. I don't know. When you smile, I see um, Randy there. All right, well, if you guys are done, then we're getting bit up. Anything? 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 Are we good? I think we're good. I think we're good. Awesome. Thanks, you guys. Check out our website, um, Tin Cat Studio, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Etsy. Um, we got it all. T-shirts, stickers. <laughs> Um, <laughs> there will be more t-shirts. Hats. Where Tin Cat Studio t-shirts coming. 
yes, we'll have to do that. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna order some, and we'll see if anyone wants to order them. Um, what we can do. Yeah, hats that's would cool. be cool. We'll figure that out. Um, we're trying to figure out hats too. Randy, did you say something? You're done. Bye. Okay. Bye.